Palumbo with RxMuscle.com in the Iron Asylum with Big Rami. I'm sitting here with Chris, the technician, Aceto. And, uh, Chris, we're going to be looking at some training footage that uh, Johnny Style shot of Big Rami uh, up in uh, New Haven Powerhouse Gym, the Montanari Brothers Gym. And uh, Rami is obviously uh, about nine or eight weeks out from the uh, Arnold Brazil uh, now, you've been training him, or you were training him, for the last several months from November. Tell us a little bit about that story and how that all came about. Um, I actually ran into Rami a few times during the last couple of years, and he said hello. And um, I, I met, uh, I saw him at the Arnold Spain, and he had some liaisons come over and say, you know, hey, Chris, Rami wants to meet you. He wants to work with you. And I said, well, here's my email. And then... Um, uh, somebody who deals closely, intimately with Rami said the same thing. You know, hey, you know, Rami wants to work with you. And I said, well, you know, here's my email. And then <clears throat> in Dubai, uh, me and Johnny Styles were together and I got a text, you know, comes of some room, someone uh, who I kind of know from that area uh, invited me and Johnny over. And I walked through the door and I said, Johnny, run the run the video because this is where <laughs> me and Rami start working together. And, and we had a little translator there and Rami said, let's start working together. And we, you know, that's where we got started. And, uh, you know, we were working with each, I, I was been working with them from then all the way up to the Arnold, Ohio. And then I got a pink slip, uh, <laughs> FedEx to me that said, you'll no longer be working with Rami. But, um, at the 11 week out mark, he was 151 kilos and 334 pounds. I sent you the pictures. 334 pounds. 334 pounds. I couldn't believe how big this guy was, and he was hard. He was in shape. Yeah. Yeah. Is he the biggest so. bodybuilder of all time, Chris? Yeah, by far. By far. Um, without what, a shadow of a doubt. What's his potential um, in your estimation? Um, it, you know, physically, it you know, it's, it's, it's potentially unlimited. Um, you know, the... This is a mental sport. Um, you got to either be dumb, which means you're so naive to everything that you just train your ass off and you, you go from point A to point Z. Yeah, we know a few people. Uh, you know, no, I mean, in, in a good way where you don't yeah. care about anything or you're like every other human being, you have feelings and this and that and you have to have thick skin and you have to get to uh, from A to Z, you have to be able to tell people no and you have to be able to be selfish when you need to be selfish and focus on yourself. Um, and that may be, uh, Remy's a super great guy, uh, and that may be, um, the, the Achilles heel to his, you know, dominating bodybuilding. It's too nice is what you're saying. Yeah. Well, let's, you know, when you see a guy at 334 pounds, who's in the kind of shape that Rami's in, I mean, what does this guy get on stage at, do you think? If you were continuing to work with him, what did you think he would probably wind up I, at? I, I think he was going to come in... You know, you know, I, I think it'd be in very close striking distance to like really peeled in the low threes, which is way heavier than he's been at any of the shows we've seen. And, and yeah, way heavier, way, way, way. No, he's way bigger than than than. You know, do you I think was he was thinking, coming down too low, or do you think that he's just added that much new muscle to his body? I, I think he's added that much new muscle. Um, it sounds ridiculous that he could add muscle, <laughs> um, but I, I I think that uh, he's like a sixteen year old. Uh, to meaning, you know, you see a 16 year old with a great physique, and they say, "What, what do you weigh?" You, it's like 170, and then you know, six weeks later, you see him at 184, and you're like, well, "Did you gain 14 pounds of muscle in six weeks?" <laughs> you know, nobody gains that, but you know, young bodies can. So his body's fresh. Well, you know, Rami picks fresh. up the 180 pound dumbbells like they're like uh, like they're they're 30 pounds each. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, the guy is a very very strong man. I mean, a lot of people don't. You know, he's not doing Ronnie Coleman lifts, but he moves. Super heavy weight around with with effortless you know exertion. Yeah, no, I'm sure because he's he's you know he's a monster. He's a mass monster with with the V taper. He's he's like the best of NASA. Yeah, he does. You know, they're both Egyptian, but You're well, right. you know, you know, NASA was freaky, um, and you know he's freaky beyond NASA, and he's got the back that NASA never had. Right. And he's and all and NASA early on had a fabulous V taper on the front double, front lat spread. And, you know, um, clearly, uh, you can post up that front double bicep, you know, as part of it, you know, put it into the video. Um, yeah. 
you know, 334. Uh, you, you can see the V taper. You know, you sent me the, the text and it said 151 kilograms. And I'm like, wait a second. First of all, uh, you would, it's 2.2 pounds per kilogram. And I'm thinking 150 is, is over 300. And he's 151. I'm like, so I'm, I had to get my calculator out because it was, it was such a high number that I'm like, he can't be, that can't be 334 pounds. And then I texted you that and you're like, yep. Yes, yep, it is. Yeah, he's that. That's right. I had to early on just get get away from the numbers, you know, meaning in my head say, OK, if he's, you know, if he's, you know, at one point, Dave, he was 359. <laughs> oh, my God. And, could, and you know, could he when, be when, a he legitimate when he was when he was 359, uh, you know, I, I just said, OK, just write it down you know, put it on a piece of paper and just forget about it. Think of it. It's like it's two, 220, because if you if you think that's 359, you're going to ruin this guy. Well, you know, it's funny because when I saw Greg Kovacs, when I used to run into him, obviously, and hang out with him back in the day, and he was like 400 pounds, he didn't, he wasn't put together like Rami is. Like, first of all, he was a lot taller than Rami, which would account for a lot of the muscle, but he had a big bone structure. Rami's got small joints. And, you know, when I saw him at the airport and I was doing a little fooling around with him, I mean, he doesn't look in clothing like, like Greg Kovacs looked, like a wall. He looks like just like a like a like an athletic looking man, you know, who's just huge. Yeah, yeah, no, he's huge with the V taper, you know, the, the the best. He's 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 got the the legs are monstrous. Yeah, um, everything is, you know, he's got great arms, great delts, great pecs, great abs. It's a shame that you're you not going to be working with him and and, and taking uh, finishing out his contest prep because uh, I think a lot of people would like to see what you would have been capable of doing with this guy. And if he could have been, if you could have made a Mr. Olympia, you know, so. Yeah, I, I, I told the Gat people early on, you will have Mr. Olympia this year. That was my prediction. Oh, so you were that confident if you had been able to work with him through the rest of the year that he could have possibly won the Olympia? That was who, that was my message to Gat. Wow. They, you know, they had, they had asked me about something about getting him, I don't know, if he can, way back when they were planning the Ohio, New York trip, you mm-hmm. know. Can you come to Ma- Can you can you send him up to Maine, or can you go down to New York, or something? And they said, "How's things coming along?" I said, "Well, you probably have Mr. Olympia this year." Wow! And you don't you don't make those kind of predictions very. I mean, likely. well, I mean, I figured at that point when he's three fifty nine, I said, "Okay, if I blow it, and I bring him into two <laughs> two eighty two, and, and peel off eighty pounds off him, you know, we still be safe." I mean, that's how you know. So. Uh, you know, he, he's, 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 um, you know, a lot of people say there's, you know, oh, so-and-so is a genetic freak. And, you know, there's people with great genetics who train hard. But I, I would consider Rami the only true freak I've ever met. I, I, Jay, Jay, to some degree, too. But Rami's just, you know, uh, I, I think if there was more time in the office, and honestly, the way things were going, he probably could have got up to 370. Can he be a legitimate 400 pounds in the off season? I mean, this guy's got room to grow. He's only been training for five years, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can, he can be. Um, Unbelievable. Like, he probably can be 400 in the off season. <laughs> He's like one of those Belgian blue, you know, cows with the no myostatin. I mean. Yeah, no, that's a that's a. Because you don't feed him a lot of food, right? I mean, he's, this guy guy doesn't eat an enormous amount of food to look like this. No, he don't. He don't have to eat a lot. He don't. He he's, he he wasn't eating a lot, a lot to get to 359. That's for sure. He just puts muscle on at the yeah, expense comment, of body fat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, that's right. He puts on muscle at the expense of fat. The muscle eats up the fat, meaning <laughs> for fuel. he gains three pounds. Yeah, he gains three pounds, and the body devours through the fat as an energy source to, to you know remodel the protein that, to put on. That's what Scott Conley calls a positive partitioning or positive nutrient partitioning uh, f- feat or phenomenon. He is a phenomenon, really, and uh, I think that uh, – uh, he's might give some excitement back to the sport of bodybuilding if, if he can really get the right guidance. Maybe he'll get back with you, at, you know, a, after it's all said and done, and uh, you guys will have a dynasty together because this guy could win the Olympia, you know, ten years in a row, and uh, he could set the bar so high that maybe no one will ever, you know, surpass that. Yeah, you know, I, I, I had, um, I mean, everyone's hooting and hollering about Cedric post Arnold, really, and. I had sent a picture of uh, Rami at 3:59 to Cedric, and uh, I, I forget he had just the greatest comment. What was his comment? I can't remember what it was. It was just so. It was. It was like a synopsis of. It was very few words, but it was like incredible, stupid, silly, mind-boggling, and scary. Whatever he had, like two words. <laughs> and Cedric usually has a lot of words. 
you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he said it in a complimentary way, you know, and he said, look, midsection, he has a great midsection too. Yeah, I think even Arnold would be okay with Rami because Arnold, he's got the small waist. I mean, how, he, you really no, can't. He's like, he's, he's like an Egyptian Sergio Olivo times 10. You can't, right. You can't really even put the guy down. He, he doesn't really have any weaknesses. His only weakness, like you said, was maybe his mental fortitude because he, he's so new to the sport. But uh, look, I just hope he doesn't get into the wrong hands. Let's let's hope uh, for the best, and let's hope maybe maybe Gak can uh, negotiate the well, piece and get him back with you. There, there, there's a lot of the, the, there's a lot of hands. <clears throat> I, I, you know, there's a lot of hands uh, at his ankles. Right. Well, you know, hopefully the hands that are helping to, you know, to guide him will guide him back in the right direction. Uh, that's all we can hope for. He's a, a true freak of nature, and we love that as bodybuilding fans, commentators. And uh, whatever you want to call us, uh, we love to see great talent, you know, uh, take the sport um, by its neck, so to speak, and, and take it to the next level. Because we haven't seen that since Ronnie Coleman. And it's been uh, there's been a drought, essentially. And I think that Rami could be the next generation. So uh, we'll keep an eye on him and we'll keep tracking his progress. And uh, this was... Uh, training with Big Rami, and that's for certain. But for now, we are out of time. I'm Dave Palumbo with Chris the Technician Aceto in the Iron Asylum.